Are you an educator looking for ways to incorporate more critical thinking, information literacy, and science literacy skills into your classroom? You've come to the right place, and I'm so glad you're here. If you're new to this website, I would suggest going to the Start Here page. The Foundations page is a mini course in these skills. It's intended to be read in order, but it doesn't have to be. Also, consider having students read these articles for assigned readings. The Topics page uses these skills to explore various issues. And this page is for educators. And there are three major pillars to my approach. The first is to teach skills, not facts. Now facts are important, of course, but the skills, critical thinking, information literacy, and science literacy, teach students how to be good consumers of information and how to make more reliable decisions. The article explores what a course designed to teach these skills looks like in practice. The second is the floater toolkit which helps students stay afloat in a sea of misinformation. I realized I was asking students to evaluate claims, but not providing them with a structured way of doing so. The toolkit hopefully provides that. The toolkit is really a summary of critical thinking and scientific reasoning. I use it as the backbone for my course. I present it early in the semester and then have students use the toolkit to evaluate claims. I then spend more time on different rules as the semester progresses, and importantly, give them lots and lots of opportunities to practice. And then finally, there's active technique-based inoculation activities. Essentially, I have students create misinformation using the techniques of that particular type of misinformation so that they can be inoculated or protected against this misinformation in the real world. From experience, these activities are fun, they're engaging, and they're really effective. Learn more about any of the three pillars by clicking on the link where you'll find articles, lectures, and podcasts explaining more. The rest of this page is assignments and activities that I use with my students using the Teach Skills Not Facts approach, the Flutter Toolkit, and or active technique-based inoculation. Please check back regularly for more activities and consider subscribing to learn about new content. And please give me feedback. I want to hear from you. If you use these activities in your class, how did they go? Did the students enjoy them? Were they engaged? Were they effective? Do you have fun examples that you wouldn't mind sharing? We're educators and we learn from each other and from our students. So please help me learn and grow.